tail of the tape for this lightweight matchup. The Carney, unbeaten in his UFC career, three years younger than the Canadian, Mark Bocek will have a seven-inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this lightweight fight. The lovely Shondella. Air Canada Centre, Toronto. First of three rounds, here we go. Bocek in the black trunks and red trunks for Nick DeCarney Lentz. Oh, nicely done early as he is aggressive. Nice knee by Bocek and a good uppercut to the body as well. Shoulder in the middle. Yes, up against the fence. Lentz has some great leg kicks, Mike. And I, I suspect that that's part of his game is try to use those on the outside. But right now he's got Bocek pressed up against the cage. See how long that lasts, spun right back around. And it'll be very interesting to see who can take who down first. There's that kick. Good knee to the body by Bocek there. And an aggressive pace early for Bocek. Bocek in the black trunks, red trunks for Nick Lentz. And this is where both of these men are very good with that jiu-jitsu nice. wrestling strength. And there and we were asking who's going to be able to first. Right. And it is Bocek. And Nick is holding on to his neck here. But Bocek, good defense there, made sure that Nick did not have the opportunity to connect his two hands together. Bocek tries to spin over the top of one leg, but is unsuccessful. He's going to try to creep up that right leg, Mike. He's going to try to press down on it and move over it. And Lentz is very aware of this. So he's trying to fight it off with a choke attempt here. Trying to get his hands connected here. He may have his hands connected, in which case Bocek is going to have to defend this. Ooh, full guard here for Lentz. Uh-oh. Lentz has his guillotine, Mike. Trying to finish it right he's here. He's hanging on. He's hanging on, and now he's adjusted and made it even tighter. Bocek seems to be out of it now. Yeah, Bocek, the black belt, has been in this situation before. Can't see if Lenz has his hands connected. Yes, he does. He has yep. his hands connected. Bocek drops him down. Nicely done by Bocek, but, but he made a still mistake. Got it. Yep. He but, still got it. Yeah, Bocek he lost it. Yeah, he made a mistake and went into guard, but then he stepped back over to the side, and Lenz let go of the choke. Make sure those elbows don't hit the back of the head. The battle on the ground continues here in round one, midway point of the first of three. Five-minute rounds. And Bocek, again, is going to try to step over that right leg of Nick Lentz. And there he does. So, some guys like to pass only on one side. Right. And, uh, Bocek seems to like to pass on his left, going over the right leg of Lentz. Yeah, he keeps going towards his left side. That's the way he likes to pass. He's got to get over that knee, though. The knee is the big issue here. And Lentz scoots back to adjust. Lentz is doing a good job of, of threatening with chokes every time it looks like Bocek is going to step over and get to a better position. One minute, 40 seconds. Punish him. 15 fight unbeaten streak for Minnesota's Nick Lentz. Bocek has had top position for the majority of the first round. Lentz is also doing a good job of keeping the feet on the hips of Bocek. So but now Bocek steps over that right leg again, always going towards that right side. Yeah. Is that a deterrent at all, Joe? I mean, if a guy always wants to pass on well, a certain side, now he goes yeah, the other he goes way. The other side. Right. Yeah, well, people have strong sides. A yeah. lot of guys have strong sides where they attack with arm bars or triangles or chokes. But, uh, you know, Bocek is clearly favors the left, but can pass through the right. But one thing a guy can set you up, though, if you if a guy knows that you're going to pass on that side all the time, right. he can bait you and let you set set you up, and that's you know appears what Lentz is allowing him to do when he's trying to go for those chokes. Now uh, Bocek is solidly on top, and he stepped completely over. Very nicely done. Good hips, but good hips by Lentz. Lentz got him right back into a good spot here. Lentz is doing a good job defensively the from the bottom, right. but clearly the pace and the position is being dictated by Bocek. Well, and Bocek met the new version of Benson Henderson in his last fight in Toronto. 
And Bocek trying to step his game up here on Canadian soil where he is 6-2 overall in his MMA career. And Benson will be fighting Frankie Edgar for yeah. the title in Japan. And what a fight that will be. How good is that? Amazing. I, I'm really impressed with Henderson. The well, last couple of a, fights. Uh, he's been a totally different fighter since the Anthony Pettis fight. Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't say a totally different fighter, but I would definitely say another notch above. Yes. All these fighters that have come over from the WC, Donald Cerrone is another excellent example of it. These fighters that, you know, came into the deep waters of the octagon and realized it's time to take it up a notch, and we're starting to truly see the full potential. I think a man possessed might be the way yeah, to put three. it. Yeah. Air goes in. Good. Heart rate's going down. Heart rate's going down. Breathe. Breathe. Good. They're giving him the guillotine grip, and that's stalling. He's stalling the action. Keep my head in the middle. Keep your head in the middle. Don't let it go under his arm. I want his back flat on the mat the whole time. Uh, drop the blood here. I want you to make sure his back is always flat so he doesn't get to his guillotine. He's okay. trying to tie you up to hold you off. Yeah. Feet off the hips and punch. I want you to punch for the entire round and then I want you to go for a pass and submission. Okay. First you punch, you heard him. You gotta punish him. You gotta punish him. Nick Lenz spent the majority of that round on his back. Get him out of there. Get him and out. Uh, he's got to know that he lost that in the eyes of the judges, so he's going to try to rectify that in this okay. round. And let's yep. see what tactics he uses. And that was one of the questions coming in. If Lenz is taken down, how will he react? Well, he went after some submissions on his back. But I'm guessing he doesn't want to be put on his back again right here early in the second round. And he understands, too, that he was controlled. Yes. And that, that is a big part of it. Bocek was clearly able to hold him down and maintain that top. Good left hook to the body by Bocek. And looking for the takedown again. Stuffed. Good job by Lentz. Lentz, good. Division One wrestler, so he has good takedown defense. Good hands by Lentz so far in this round. And, you know, there's certain jiu-jitsu guys, Joe, that you and I have talked about that have okay takedowns and then there's those who have very good takedowns bocek is a black belt in brazilian jiu-jitsu yeah. who has good takedowns look at that threw a kick missed it and look at this crazy position bocek has got the better of this right now because bocek can stand up and lentz realizes that and holds on to the ankles of bocek and what Bocek's going to do is try to drop him onto his back, spin and drop him onto his back, and then adjust as quickly as possible and wind up on top. And Lentz is well aware of this, so here's the scramble. There he, he turns, yep. and Bocek able to control it. Good job by Bocek. And again, going over that same side, trying to pass over that right leg. Yes, good mark. Head in the middle, base one. As he passes over the right leg, Mike, he, he extends his left arm. And if Nick Lentz is aware of this, Nick Lentz can try to attack with a Kimura on that side because he's got to let that arm go by itself in order to advance. So as he steps over, whether he pushes down on the knee of Nick Lentz or whether he uses it to pull down the shoulders of the head, that one arm has got to be by itself as he makes the pass. Bocek in top position can be nasty, and he's trying to do damage by accumulation here on Nick Lentz. Lentz 5-0-1 with that one no contest in his UFC career. Now here Nick Lentz suffers from not having a, a good offensive guard. Nick's guard is very good defensively. He's very good at keeping his feet on the hips. And very good at, you know, attempting some submissions like chokes, but not making any moves for arm bars or triangles or... Here's a rubber guard attempt here, partially, just a high guard at least. He rolls under. This is a knee bar attempt here if possible. Nope. Adjust quickly by Bocek. And again, Bocek stepping over that right side. Look at his left arm. As his left arm moves forward, when, when he has his left arm on the knee of, of uh, Nick Lentz, that's when Nick Lentz has an opportunity to attack. The elbows to the body. Bocek is very aware of any danger here. He knows how he goes real deep into the armpit as he tries to pass. He's not giving Lentz any opportunity to do anything here. Bocek's he's also isolating, I'm sorry, he's isolating that right arm of Lentz. And this is a, a problem for Lentz. Lentz has to look out for that right arm. If, because Bocek, now Bocek isn't, now Lentz is going to adjust and try to scoot up. Bocek is looking for an arm triangle on that side. Last four wins have come by submission for Mark Bocek. They had that very close fight with Jim Miller in Newark. Then the submission of the night against Dustin Hazlett. 
Well, Lentz is doing a good job defensively of putting Bocek back into his guard, using the butterflies and the feet on the hips, and always getting it back to this spot every time Bocek is able to step off into a dominant spot. But he's not threatening enough. He's losing this round just like he lost the first round. Octagon control. Yeah, complete control by Bocek. And here's another attempt at a guillotine. And he's got it in guard. Trying to use his whole body. Trying to Bocek shake him off. He's in Bocek. trouble. He's in, Bocek's in trouble, Mike. Lentz trying to finish it. And he, now he's much better. Yep. He's almost free here. That's the second time Nick Lentz has tried to lock in that choke, yeah. though. Well, he's got a very good one. But Bocek has some really solid defense there. But that was close. When his legs were really close together and he was trying to shake him off, that was a dangerous spot for Bocek because he could have wound up on his back there. His work. In the elevator on the way over, a, a nice older Czechoslovakian woman said, who do you think's going to win tonight? And I said, I'm not sure, ma'am. She goes, well, I hope my son wins. I go, who would that be? Mark Bocek. So mom's here watching from down the road in Woodbridge, Ontario. Oh, he's losing his pants here. He's trying to pull his pants up. <laughs> oh, Equipment adjustment. Final seconds of round number two. I don't think Nick was aware that Bocek was pulling his pants up there. Nice inside leg kick. But another round controlled by Mark Bocek. Yeah, that should be two rounds on the books yep. for Bocek. Nice work, Mark. Give me that mouthpiece. Breathe. That's it. Good. Air's going in, heart rate's going down. Breathe. Heart rate's going down. Feel your heart rate go down. Good. Very good round. Excellent round. Hands in the middle. Do you, you feel hands on the bicep? Is there? Is it there? Because you're holding him, so it's, you're stuffing, you're crowding your own ground and pound. You're smothering your own ground and pound. You gotta put hands on the bicep. Posture. Hit him hard. Hurt him. And here you see a short elbow from the bottom by Nick Lentz. And that's where the blood is coming from on Mark Bocek. And here's the, the choke attempt by Lentz. Very, very tight guillotine. Notice how, you know, Bocek's in a lot of trouble here. See his legs are real close together like that? That is not good. He's trying to shake Lentz off of him. And in the process, Lentz is tightening up that choke. That was a tricky situation. But solid, solid defense by Mark Bocek. Let's go. Third and final round. Lentz needs to do something different or he will suffer his first UFC loss. Well, I think what's going on here is that his strengths are his wrestling and his, his submissions and Bocek's strengths are exactly the same, but they're stronger strengths. Yes. And Bocek's got him there up and go. down. And again, he's got the neck again. He's going for that neck one more time. But as it gets later in the fight, the arms aren't quite as fresh as they were in round one when he tried to choke him out. Yeah, and up against the cage. Yeah, here. no guard. And now, and it's just the same technique over and over again that he keeps going for. This is one of those moments where having a much more diversified attack from the ground would, would have been beneficial for Nick Lentz. You see, like his, where his leg, he's never throwing any legs over the, no high guard, no, no attempts for arm bars. And, you know, really, quite honestly, hasn't attempted to stand up either. Well, and that was the question, as we said before. If he's taken down, how will he react? And he's been basically in a defensive mode. With Bocek controlling this fight, looking for his sixth career victory inside the octagon. In Nick Lentz's defense, he's the one who's been attempting submissions, and he has come the closest to finishing the fight. He's gotten a couple near submissions, but, you know, when a guy, when you're, when you're fighting a guy like Bocek, and you know the guy's such a solid jiu-jitsu practitioner with great defense, you wonder, I mean, how close are these? They right. look tight, they look close, but Bocek's obviously very confident, otherwise he would never let him get into this spot in the first place. And he's still maintaining and controlling that top position every single time. So it's very tricky to score. Clearly, Bocek is in control. Clearly, Bocek is the one that's on top. But Nick Lentz is the one who has attempted to finish. Nice uppercut there. So based on what you just said, Joe, would you say that Nick Lentz would have been better off 
working hard towards getting back to his feet instead of trying to choke out a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt? It could be, but I don't know if he could. You know, I mean, if his only option is to try to attack with that choke, I mean, that's what he's got and that's right. what he goes for. And he goes down again and yeah. same thing. He's same exact that position. So it's, it's a, you know, it's one of those things where, okay, Bocek is controlling the fight. Bocek gets him down, but Nick Lentz is the one who's been trying to finish it every time. He's got it again. I mean, this would, the, the whole fight would all go away if Nick Lentz actually secured that and put Bocek to sleep. But the thing is, Bocek has probably had his neck squeezed about a million times in his <laughs> life. And so he's one of those guys It's like incredibly difficult to try. Now Bocek is trying one more time to move to a dominant position. The, give Nick Lentz credit, though. Nick Lentz has never let Bocek get mount, never let him get side control for more than a couple of seconds. His work. And ground and pound is what Bocek has done yeah. more than look for his own submissions. Yeah, Bocek is, you know, he's landed some solid shots, but quite honestly, the, the most danger in this fight, the person who's been in the most danger has been Bocek. That said, he's losing the fight. Absolutely. Crazy game, isn't it? It's a chess match. This one is for sure, right? Yeah. I mean, and one of the keys is that Mark Bocek is four for five in his takedowns in this fight. Yeah, he's clearly dictating the pace. He's making Nick Lentz fight where he wants to fight. It's not like Nick Lentz is getting these guillotines because he's pulling guard. And he's getting taken down against his will. But Bocek, I'm sure, this would work. much rather finish this fight with a submission or a stoppage or, or something and not just... You see, side control for a brief second, and look, Nick Lentz, hip escape, boom. Literally, one second, and he's back to guard again. But again, you've said many times, though, credit Nick Lentz for the inability for Mark Bocek to finish this fight, although yeah. he might still yes. here in the 40 seconds remaining. Yeah, Nick Lentz has got very, very good defense. Lightweight matchup here again. in Toronto. Again, he's going to attack with that choke. This time with the other arm. Nope, can't get it again. And he rolls over right back into full guard. And, you know, Bocek has not been able to pass at all. And Bocek is employing the same passing style. He's always trying to pass over the top. He hasn't once tried to go underneath. He hasn't once tried to double underhook the legs of Lentz and maybe stack him and try to pass that way. Or side kick or axe kick to the body. Final seconds of this fight. And it goes the distance. Mark Bocek, Nick Lentz. And the fans from the province of Ontario, very impressed with the performance of Toronto-born Mark Bocek. And it's interesting, Nick Lentz shook his head no to the crowd and pointed to himself and then put up the finger as if he won. Takedowns, a big key in this matchup. Yeah, it was everything. Everything as far as scoring. Over and over again, Bocek was able to take Nick Lentz down against his will. And although Lentz landed some good elbows from the bottom and a solid choke here, this was the most danger that Bocek was in. Bocek was still able to defend every single one of those, take, of those submission attempts and able to control this fight. There's an uppercut there by Lentz. There's a little bit of ground and pound here by Bocek. But no real significant damage done by Bocek, but definitely controlled the fight and controlled position. And here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Mark Bocek! Mark Bocek, victorious here tonight at home. Handing Nick Lentz his first loss in the octagon. Here's Joe. All right, I'm here with the winner, Mark Bocek. And Mark Bocek, a big round of applause from your Canadian friends here. Uh, guys. How nice is it to win here at home? It's a dream come true to fight here. But to even win here against a guy like Nick who's never lost in the UFC, it's just incredible. He's super tough. Let's give him a big hand. He's an incredible fighter. Very, very tough to pass his guard. His guard was very good, and he, he made a few choke attempts, and one of them seemed to be pretty tight. Were you in any danger at any point? Yeah, I, I, I scouted him. I know he's his tough guillotines. Um, he's a good jiu-jitsu player, but my whole purpose wasn't to pass the guard. He's a good wrestler, and he's athletic, so my goal was to stabilize and ground and pound and chip away at him, not give him a chance to scramble back up. Um, very tough fight, but glad to walk away with the W. Well, congratulations on a solid victory. Look forward to seeing you again. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Bocek.